Everyone, it's always a delight to be your host on this wonderful program. You're welcome to Bible Tunes Children's Show. My name is Anu Oluwapo Odessonya, aka Auntie Anu. Yes, the children call me Auntie Anu. And as you can see, today I'm looking like, um, like a bride. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm a Jesus bride, yes, we are all Jesus' bride, yes, so today I'm looking like, like a bride, but before I let out the catch from the bag on why I'm dressed like this today, you have to meet the children right here in the studio. If you're just joining us, this is Bible Tunes Children's Show, the program where we get to learn and sing God's word, and I'm always, always doing this with my children right here in the studio. When I say my children, I don't mean my biological children, so so why do not be wondering that uh -uh. she alone has this uh, eight, eight children? No, but they are my children. So hello, children. Hello, Auntie Anu. How are you guys doing? Fine, thank you, thank you. Do, do you like my wedding gown? Yes. Do I look like a bride? Yes. Would you like to look like this someday? No. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, yes. of course, not the boys. I'm not talking to the boys. The girls. You like to look like this someday, right? Yes. Okay, so let's start with our introduction before we go into what we have. Yes, okay. Maybe before we start with the general introduction, I also like you to know that I have a very special um, baby with me in the studio today. So whatever um, creativity he brings on the show, please bear with us, okay? So let's start with you, darling. Grace, introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. My name is Grace Kayode. Okay. Hi, my name is Pearl. Pearl, I like that name. Yeah. Hello everybody, my name is Daniel. Daniel. Hello everybody, my name is Jedidiah. Ah, Jedidiah, you're welcome. Hello everybody, my name is David Ibodi. David, you're welcome. Hello everybody, my name is Inokobalu Luaremo. Yeah, Inok. We have mighty great men in the house. Hallelujah. Hey, everybody, I'm Adebola. Yes, Adebola, you're welcome. And yes, this is my able. PA, my special PA for today. And His name is Daniel Ibode. Everybody clap for Daniel. Yes, Daniel is the youngest. Daniel, clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Yes. You know, just as Jesus, Jesus said in his word, suffer the little children to come unto me, for theirs is the kingdom of God. So when Daniel showed up on the show today, ah, we said we cannot send him back, oh, even though he's two years old, but we welcome him to the show today. So let's quickly go into what... We'll be treating today. Today, children, our topic is white garments. So you can see that's why I'm wearing white today. So our topic is what? White garments. Yes, white garments. And our memory verse is from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 8 says, Let your garment always be white and let your head lack no oil. So children, it's time to learn our memory verse. We'll learn our memory verse first before we go into our Bible tunes. <laughs> so are we ready to learn our memory verse? Yes. Okay, so you repeat after me. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Don't bite your tongue, go. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 chapter 9 verse 8 verse 8 let your garment let your garment let your garment let your garment always be white always be white always be white always be white let your head let your head and let your head let your head lack no Oil. Lack no oil. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Chapter nine. Chapter nine. Verse eight. Verse eight. Daniel, let your garment. Let your garment. Let your garment. Let good. your garment. Always be white. Always be white. Always be white. Always be white. And let your head. And let your hair. Lack no oil. Lack no oil. Beautiful, Daniel. Touch your head. 
Can you touch your head? People should clap for Daniel. Clap for Daniel. Yes. So that's our memory verse. So now we're going to our Bible tunes. So children, I'll sing the Bible tunes first too, and then we'll learn together, okay? So let your garment always be white. Let your head lack no hoy. Let your garment always be white and let your head lack no oil let your garment always be white and let your head lack no oil let your garment body always be white and let your head lack no oil. Are we ready? Let your garment always be white. Ah, don't stamp your feet, oh. Let your head lack. Okay, let's learn. Let's learn. Let me know. Assume that you know it. So repeat after me, line by line. Let your garment always be white. Want to sing? Let your garment. You're not touching your garment, though. Again. Let your garment always be white. Beautiful. And let your head lack no oil. One, two, go. And let your head lack no oil. Beautiful. Let your garment always be white. And let your head lack no oil. So do you see that? The first one is, let your garment always be white. The second time is, let your garment always be white. And let your head, don't stamp your feet, lack no oil. So let's take it together. One, two, three, four, sing. Let your garment always be white. Don't stamp your feet. And let your head. Lack no oil. Let your garment always be white. And let your head lack no oil. One more time. Let your garment always be white. And let your head lack no oil. Let your garment always be white. And, and let, let your head lack no oil. So let's do it this way. You say, I'll let my garment always be white. I'll and my head lack no oil. I'll let my garment always be white. And my head lack no oil. Beautiful. Please give yourself a big round of applause. Yes, yeah, children back home, I hope you have learned the Bible tunes for today. We're going to go on our karaoke break right now. And when we come back, we're going to be learning more about today's topic that says white garment. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. we are back the program is still bible tunes children show the program where we get to learn and sing god's word and today we are learning about white garments so that's why i am wearing i'm so excited with this my white garment <laughs> 
So that's our wearing white, that's our white garment today. So our topic is white garments. We just came back from our karaoke break in case you're just joining us. But it's okay, you can always watch past episodes on our YouTube channel at Bible Tunes Online. You can also follow us on IG at Bible Tunes Online. And don't forget that you can partner or sponsor this program. And if you want, yeah, that reminds me, I get calls from various people saying, I want my child to be a part of Bible Tunes. Bible Tunes um, is is, is, is recorded at the Redemption Camp, Lagos, Nigeria, okay? So if you want the children to be a part of us, um, okay, somebody's saying Redemption City is not camp. So just reach us via the number on the screen. Thank you so very much. So children, let's move on quickly to our Bible reading. Today's Bible reading is from Revelations chapter 1, verse 12 to 15. Revelations 1, verse 12 to 15. So, um... You know, David, read verse 12. No, sit down, sit down. And Children, I, hold on. I want you guys to really follow today's um, Bible text. It's very important, okay? All right, darling, let's have you. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Okay, I, um, I'm okay with it. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto Bible. the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girl and girt about the about the pups with a golden girdle. Gracie, read verse fourteen. Mm -hmm. See, you were not following. The angel of the no. Church. Revelations one fourteen. Okay, let me just read that because of our time. His head and his ears were white like wool. Everybody say white. White. And as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Pearl, can you read verse 15? And, and, his, feet, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a, in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Beautiful. So, who can tell me who was being described? Jesus. Jesus. Somebody, can you call that name? Jesus. Jesus. Yes, this was John the Beloved when he, encountered, when he had a revelation of heaven. So, he was given a description of Jesus when he saw Jesus. Verse 13, he said that when he saw Jesus, he was close in what? From your Bible. And Everybody. he was in the midst of... No, no, no. Let's take it easy. He was clothed with a... A what? Look at verse 13 in your Bible. Clothed with a garment. He was clothed with a garment. He was clothed with what? A, a garment. garment. A garment. From where? From down, down to the foot. To the down foot. to the foot. And Everybody yeah. touch your foot. In case maybe, maybe I don't understand English. Where is your foot? Good. Oh. Is your foot here? No. Yes, your foot is here. So that means that Jesus Christ was probably dressed the way I'm dressing this, this day, right? Yes. So you can sit up back. So what's the number one lesson I want us to take home from these children? How many of you want to make heaven? Children back home, you want to make heaven? Good. So if Jesus, the person that we want to go and meet in heaven, is dressed well. I mean, is he not well dressed yes, from this description? Yes, mom. Was he wearing crazy jeans? How many of you know crazy jeans? Mm -hmm. Not those jeans that they would, they would see again. Actually, the ladies. Was he wearing things that was showing his, his private? Was he wearing his... short things? But, thank you. So, you are just giving me. Was he wearing short things? No. The Bible says he was clothed in what? A garment down, down to, to his. Foot. It's food. So, I'm not saying that everywhere, when you're going everywhere, you should be wearing long, long gowns, okay? My PA today, please don't fall down, sit down. But the point is that if we say we are going to heaven, like that song we always sing, I am running a race to meet my reading man. I am running a race to meet my reading man. Heavenly race, don't drum a race. Heavenly race, heavenly race. To meet my Redeemer. Yes. So if we say that we are running a race to meet Jesus, and the Bible has given us a description. Children, are we together? Grace, the Bible has given us how Jesus looks like. At least somebody who saw Jesus said he was wearing what? White, white garment. 
unto his food. So shouldn't we begin to align our ways? Like our memory verses, let your garment always be what? White. White. Now, is the Bible just talking about physical whiteness? No. Now, my gown is white. There is no stain at least, right? No, it's not. But what is the Bible really talking about? Spiritual garment. Beautiful. When spiritual garment. Somebody want to say something? When your heart is as white as gold. Your heart is white. It's not dirty. What are the things that can stain our garments, our spiritual garments now? Dirty. Dirty. Gold. Jesus, no, Jesus cannot stain our garment though. Jesus is the one that will give us um, clean garments. What are the things that can stain our garments? Sin. Sin. Everybody says sin. Sin. Yes. Yes, snakes. Snakes. When, you, mm. when snakes are in your heart that you don't have a clean heart. Snakes, how can snakes enter your heart? That's deep. Oh, no, it's, it's a spiritual word. Oh, spiritual snakes. Yes, like she said, sin. Okay, and snake, like representing the devil, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But very quickly, I also want to read Revelations 3, 4 to 5. Revelations 3, 4 to 5 says, Thou, thou hast the few, few names, names, even in studies, which, which have, have not defiled their, their garments. Garment. That means you must it's not defile your garments. Garment. Your garment. And they shall walk with me in white. This is Jesus speaking. He says, they shall walk with me in white, white for, for they, they are, are worthy. worthy. So children, are you worthy to walk with Jesus yes. in heaven? Just yes. answer that question in your heart, okay? Then verse 5 says, in he that, that overcometh, the, the same shall be clothed in white, white raiment. Enoch, that means when we actually get to heaven, we are actually all going to be clothed in what? White, white raiment. Daniel, when you get to heaven, you are going to be clothed in what? White. Daniel, say white raiments. Yes, white raiments. So when we get to heaven, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. Don't worry, just leave him. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. So children, for you to get to heaven, your garment must always be white. Enoch, can you sit properly? You're not a baby. I'm not Enoch, I'm David. David, yes, yeah, sit properly. So for you to get to heaven, your garment must be what? White. 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 Because when we all get to heaven, we are all going to be dressed like this. Or you don't want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. Yes. So as we wrap up today, I know that we also have daddies and mommies watching us. I just want to plead with us to help us to help our children to dress well. If we are saying that we are going to heaven and we want to go and meet with Jesus, then our dress, when people see us children, when they see you, even before telling somebody that you are a child of God, they should do what? They should know that you're a child of God. There's a way you will dress and you won't look like a child of God. Is that not so? Yes. So anything you know that when you wear it, people cannot readily say, ah, what's your name, darling? Adebola. Anything that Adebola will wear and people cannot see Jesus in you. Should you wear it? No. No. So please, daddies and mommies, I just want to beg us to help our children to dress well, to look, you know, beautiful for Jesus. There are some clothes that our children wear these days that is not glorifying at all. And most times when I ask children, why are you dressed like this? They'll say, ah, it's my mommy that bought it for me. It's my daddy that bought it for me. So I pray that God will help us to help these children so that our garment can be white and our head will not lack any oil in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, so this is where we're going to call it a day today. We hope that you have been blessed. Remember, you can reach us on all our social media platform if you want to sponsor this program you want to partner with us on this program or you even want to bring you know bible tools to your location because so many people want to participate you know so wherever you are you want us to come and do bible tunes with you we we'll gladly you know honor your invitation but terms and conditions <laughs> apply so it will come your way again keep basking in the love of christ and children let's say bye to all our friends bye bye, bye. bye.